The new starter deck 7 Vegeta has a powerful ability that lets you bottom deck a card every single turn. But is it abusable? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Mobby here, and today I'm going to give you my personalized deck list for the new Vegeta that came out along with FBO4. This is starter deck 7. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. I upload a lot of anime, TCGs, and deck profiles. Alright, so here we are, let's talk about the deck, and I want you guys to know the way I built this deck, it's it's trying to synergize as much as possible with the leader's ability. So if you guys have any suggestions of what to add or remove to make the leader ability even better, let me know. We're going to talk about the leader, go over every single card, and talk about the strategy. So, beginning with the leader, this is Vegeta Mini DA, which stands for Daima. So, 15,000 power, this is a blue leader, and this is a Saiyan. Pretty basic, when attacking, you draw, awaken at 4. And then, this is a Vegeta Awaken, 20,000. When attacking, draw one card. The ability is activate once per turn, you can rest in energy. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a one or less and bottom deck. It seems like a really powerful ability, and in a way it kind of is. But if you try to build around it, meaning you have a lot of stuff that lower the opponent's sort of uh, cost, then you're using up less sort of room in your deck for stronger cards to keep you sustained. So, is this a good balance? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So, the first card we have here is Peel Off from set 1, 1, 5, 10. On play, if you have seven or fewer cards, add up to one Earthling that costs one or less from your drop to your hand. There's only one other card in this deck that this is supposed to grab. However, it works with the leader's ability. Let's go and talk about it. And if anything, it's a pretty good like little uh, little tiny 10k drop. So this is the card that you can only grab with Peel Off here. It says My Future from set two, one, five, ten. So once again, really powerful counter. On play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, reduce it by one for the turn. So at the very worst, you are, you know, I, I guess the very best, I say, right? You use up two energy when your leader is awakened. You can go ahead and reduce one by a two cost to one, use this, and then boom, it gets knocked down. Now remember, this is activate once, you're dur once during your main turn. So you can use it at any time, as long as you're not in battle and only on your turn. But yeah, it's a pretty good card. You have four of these. And yeah, so the peel-offs grab these and then, you know, they cycle each other. Okay, next off we have Vegeta's Battle Armor. This is a new card from Starter Deck 7. I'm giving this a try, and actually I was able to use it a couple times in a duel I tested it in. One cost, activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, reduce it by one. So it's kind of like the Mai, except that it's an event. But if your leader is Vegeta, then you draw one card. It's awesome because a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the blue cards have this sort of restriction where it says if you have seven or fewer cards, so you have to really hand manage. But this one is if you're literally just Vegeta leader, draw one card. So this is a really cheap way. It's, it's another way along with this as a really low cost reduction to just get them to that one cost. Or if anything, um, there's other way. There's other cards that bottom deck. So you don't really always have to use this with the uh, cost reduction, which we'll talk about. Next off, it's a new card from the from the set four. This is Vegeta Mini Daima again. 2, 15, 10. Pretty powerful stat line. Permanent your turn. If you have seven or fewer cards, he gains 5,000 to a 20,000. When attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce it by two. This ability here is amazing, and this will most likely be seen in every single blue deck that is working on lowering costs because not only is this a pretty good attacker on your turn it's a 10k counter and the when attacking it's permanently every single turn as a static ability you can use every single turn where whereas the Mai is a one time on play however at least with Mai, you can you know lower it do your effects use her as a block then bring peel off back to your hand and etc so i really like it how a lot of cards even though you use their ability as long as they're on the field you can use them as blocker or combos but yeah this is a really amazing card perfect for the deck and you know it's just this is how it is i mean little mini mini you know next off we have trunks this is from set three 225 on play if you have seven or fewer cards reduce a cost by one so this is another cost reduction it's not the crazier strongest card but it's here in the deck as a really early one to throw out next off we have another new card from set four this is bulma mini daima 2510 on play you self you self awaken a little bit and then if you have seven or fewer draw one card this is just here for recycling and making sure you can awake it as much as possible. It's a decent card. Nothing special here. Okay, 
Next off, we have Trunks Youth from set one. 21510. This is a blocker card on play self awaken one. So we have two cards that help you self awaken already. One, two, th and they're really early cards too. So if your opponent leaves you at five, you're going to be able to get these off no problemo. Next off, it's going to be Piccolo. This is uh, a card from set uh, from starter deck seven. Same one as this, this is a SR 32010. On play, choose a battle card your opponent has and reduce it by one. Then, if they have a battle card, so two or less, you draw one card. So, of course, you want to use this on a three to go to a two. Or you can go ahead and reduce it beforehand with like stuff like Vegeta's armor and stuff like that. And then you can go ahead and use this. So you get a four down to a two to draw a card. Or you can just, you know, use this. So a really good card in general. Now we're going towards our super like, uh, like powerful cards to late game, right? So this is Vegito. So this card is a three cost 25,000 power. You can see here it is from set. Oh my God, I can't read the set. Set two. Vegito. 5,000. So actually, it's pretty strong, but it actually has a counter, which is cool. So this is like one of your best cards to put in the deck. Permitty, your turn. If you have fewer or seven cards, reduce the battle cards of all your opponent's cards in by you know in their battle area by one. So this is a permanent effect, permanent effect. So if you have multiple Vegitos, it's just insane. Yeah, you want to keep this alive as much as possible. On play, choose up to one battle card with one or less and place it to the bottom such a good card dude like i don't see you running this deck without this thing if you're able to put down two or three you could use this almost with like no no extra add-ons you know just every turn bottom deck something next we have krillin this is also from a new set so we're trying this one out because it has decent stat lines and an okay ability so this is four thirty pretty powerful and five when attacking, if you have seven or fewer, you reduce the cost by one. Once again, anything that has a, you know, a, a constant effect where you can keep doing it over and over, it becomes a high target for your opponent to attack into it, to use up resources, and that might mean keeping stuff like this alive as well. It's a really good card, even though it's a common. I can see this being used quite a lot. If anything, it's just a 5,000 blocker, but this Krillin card is pretty good. All right, next up, we have the Sun Gohan Adolescence from set three. This is 430. This is one of your very, very few zero cost counters of the deck. On play, if you have seven or fewer cards, choose up to two battle cards of your opponent with three or less and place them to the bottom. So the effect on its own is really good. But let's say you have five costs or you have a Krillin or you even have the Vegeta uh the early Vegeta, you're really going to be able to uh, have some stuff that lower the cost. Where's Vegeta? There you go. So imagine you have this on the board already, then you do this. You can bottom deck at five and a three. It's very powerful if your opponent leaves any of your when attacking to lower cards in the field. So such a strong card to put in the deck. Now, we have this Vegeta from set two. This is 5-35-0, has innate double strike. Will help, will help you win the late game, of course. On play, choose up to a battle card, four or less, and place it to the bottom of the owner's deck. Even if you don't have any cost reduction, you're usually going to be able to bottom deck a four. It's very, very powerful. We're running three of these, and the reason why is because we have the counterpart, which just came out. This is a Vegeta Daima from Star Deck 7. So this is very similar if you guys look at this. They're both five. They're both 35. They both have double strike. And this is lowering a four cost. This is bottom decking a four cost. This one bottom decks a three cost. However, if you have seven or fewer cards, you get to draw one card. So the difference here is this is a straight bottom deck. This is bottom deck and you have the benefit of drawing a card if you can set up the opportunity. So we're running three and three and these are your late game cards. Pretty much the whole goal and these are your Videl any sort of super in, the, uh, in this deck it really doesn't matter. All right, so the goal of this deck you want to set up your board with a lot of when attacking. You want to have a lot of your you want to have a lot of cards in your pocket, like the peel off and the my to lower the cost even more. And then if you're able to use this, you, if you use it even like maybe once or twice during a duel to get rid of a two cost or higher, that is really worth it in my opinion. The deck suffers from having a weak early game, but the point is you want to put stuff on that's going to make your opponent think like I have to remove the stuff on the board. So even if you're not attacking or anything like that as long as your characters are in attack mode and while you keep building up they're most likely going to stay alive unless they have a lot of removal on their own but yeah this deck is uh, pretty interesting it's a slow slow building ramp deck for removing and it ha it kind of really counter uh, counterparts the uh, goku mini daima where that one's slow building power uh, powered advantage this is slow building cost reduction advantage which is kind of cool so let me know what you guys think of the deck what would you add what would you remove thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time